All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Skyrim Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Gladys the Corky mod, which is being made by user Pierre Despero. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is an awesome custom dog follower, Gladys the Corky, and look... <gasps> how wonderful this little new pet of ours is. It is a beautiful Corky that has some surprisingly amazing looking armor for a dog. I mean, that's not something you'd really expect, but here we are, here we are indeed. So let's take a look at what all we do get with Gladys the Corgi, starting with, of course, how we do get our hands on her. And it's rather quite simple. You're just gonna have to go out into the world and head on over to Solitude, specifically the East Empire Company Warehouse. And there at the little stall, you'll see a sign there for a dog for sale and a new NPC a vendor at that location who is a functioning shop, but the more important thing is here that you talk to her to buy Gladys. There's a whole story behind it too as to why. Do definitely go check that out. And once you purchase Gladys for 500 gold, you get this awesome freaking dog with you know, a complete set of armor, which you can take off. We'll take a look at that in a second. And just all in all, a very fun cool animals. Let's actually turn time of day and weather back a little bit more there. Excellent. It's getting a bit dark on us. And yeah, let's take a look at what all we do get with our fun new friend Gladys. So first, I'm going to have, uh, yeah, or come along with me. I was telling her to wait down here. So there we go. Come on, girl. Let's roll. And uh, first things first, all the barking you're going to hear from this dog, apparently, is some um, sound effects recorded from the mod maker's very own pet corgis, which I think is just wonderful that they recorded their own pets. That is, uh, that's pretty great. <laughs> now, as for usability, this is a fully functional dog follower who will, you know, attack any of your enemies, protect you in combat, but also does have a few other unique things. First and foremost, after you do purchase Gladys here from that vendor, she's also going to give you... Oh, wait, I didn't have it selected. Never mind. Into the inventory. George! which apparently is Gladys' favorite uh, toy to use. And you can actually throw this uh, toy Altmer into the world, and Gladys will go and find it and, you know, pick it up and put it into her inventory. Effectively, fetch. Now, thing is, as you can see, Gladys isn't really going for it right now. It, it seems to take her quite some time to realize that it's in the world. Eventually, though, she will go and get it. And when she does, is she'll have it in her inventory, and you can ask her the, did you find it, girl? And if she has, she'll drop the toy down on the floor. If not, then, you know, you're just gonna have to go pick it up. Now, you'll notice, though, um, the doll actually did just disappear. That's because while we were waiting here, Gladys did find it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a really weird fetch system, but it works, technically? <laughs> it's it's very strange, but it's a kind of endearing little thing that we even do have a dog toy here for Gladys to go and find. Now, that's not all Gladys can do, of course. We can actually ask her to go and do something for us, which is, you know, the way of commanding her around the world by, you know, telling her to wait at a location or go somewhere, loot a thing, etc. That can be done. And she will go loot stuff. You tell her to go loot a body, she's going to grab that crap. And it's pretty great. And you can just go into her inventory and get the things. Now, beyond that here, we also uh, have the ability for her to hold on to some things for us. She does have an inventory like any other NPC that you can have in your party, which is great. Now, if you think she's been a good girl, and I mean, Gladys is an awesome corgi, so why wouldn't she be? You can actually give her a treat. And whoops, I accidentally clicked the wrong thing there. I do hate when that happens. Uh, but there we go. It'll take us into our inventory in the food section and it'll filter out any other foods that uh, basically Gladys doesn't care about, because I've got other foods in my inventory, but Gladys likes the green apples that I've got, 
and we can give her one as a treat, which is just a pretty neat little thing. Now beyond that, we can ask her if uh, she can find anything useful, and basically that'll let her go out into the world and find stuff for us, and I believe she's already found something at the moment, so if I click that, that's going to give her the basic option to go and find some stuff. Now we can... Aha, uh -huh. okay, see, now we've got that. It's okay, girl, it doesn't look like there's anything useful for her to find in our immediate area. Unfortunately, if she does find something, you'll get another option there, and she'll actually drop it on the ground in front of you. But, since there's nothing here in my little courtyard, well, we got nothing, sadly. But, oh well, c'est la vie. Now, as for other options here, we can, of course, take off her cool-looking armor. So let's go ahead and do that right now, and it's just a normal corgi. I prefer her with the armor on because it looks just so freaking cool. So let us put that armor back on her. Excellent. Now, I don't actually know if the armor does anything protection-wise. I've had her in a couple of fights, and it didn't seem to matter uh, just from the casual observation. Uh, to do any difference, but um, it just looks cool, so I leave it. <laughs> uh, so let's actually take a look at her in combat and spawn in just a simple random bandit into the world. Time to get lost, take care right? of it, Gladys! Kill it! Kill that bandit! There she goes, nipping at their heels, and boom, she's taking him down. Good girl. <laughs> And yeah, there we go. She's uh, she's done her job protecting me from a low-level bandit, and uh, that's pretty wonderful. Oh, look at all the blood on her face. You did a good job, Gladys. A good job. Yeah, it's just a fun little animal pet companion for you to have. Not a whole lot, honestly, to go over with this. Uh, it's just a neat little thing with a few fun extras like the slightly wonky fetch mechanic, the ability for her to look around for things uh, in the world that we might like, and of course the cool model, the cool armor, and the custom sound effects from the mod maker's very own corgis. I just, I just like that extra little fact. So yeah, that's really all there is to go over with this mod. It's just a fun, neat pet companion for you to have, and who doesn't love a cute little corgi. So if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed, and yet do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have yes. a good one. Now take him down, Gladys! Take him down!